Echo Plan happens to be an activity that has been giving us a series of issues. The poor quality of micro planning has made planning for mineration activities and other activities generally are facilities to be very difficult. So if we have a better plan, we ensure that all the sediments are covered the way they should be covered or captured in the plant. Then the facility and the local government area can make adequate plans to cover those sediments. There are a lot of sediments that are springing up every day. There is need for the continual updating of this micro plan. So it's easier when you have it digitally done. Retrain Nigeria, the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency and Novelty have come together to develop your special micro planning toolkit to help digitize micro plants. The Geospatial Micro Planning Toolkit is an application that aims to strengthen the micro planning process. That is, defining the areas a health facility is responsible and accountable for. Those areas are called catchments and this is currently done on paper and the Geospatial Microplanning Toolkit brings this into the digital space. The application allows a user to define the catchments by linking health facilities with settlements. Those are both stored in a geospatial database that the application is connected to. And then the settlements are derived from recent satellite imagery so this allows the user to easily visualize the total population of a health facility catchment and at the same time it also highlights any areas that are not covered and thus makes sure that no settlements are missed. Where data is incomplete or missing, the user can collect the missing data directly in the field and update the database accordingly. We have at the Alaji Kola Osho uh, primary healthcare center located in Lagos mainland to pilot test the geospatial micro planning toolkit. And what we aim to achieve today is to ensure that we are able to develop a comprehensive micro plan for this particular health facility. The NERIC is an emergency committee that addresses the concerns of routine immunization across the country. We continue to record a high number of children who are missed, which we now call the zero-dose children, or we call them the unimmunized children. So that is a gap. And geospatial mapping being used by the SIA team seem to be the closest to how we can ensure that every catchment area is accounted for, and then also have resources planned for them to ensure that we leave no child behind. The geospatial microplanning toolkit will improve the microplan because a lot of mistakes we encounter during the manual microplan we do. There might be some sentiments that we, we will not capture well. With this, there will be a guide. So I think it's going to improve the microplan itself in the world. This GMT is a welcome idea because it's an innovation that would help us better plan to reach those children wherever they are. The GMT promises to be more accurate with the delineation of catchment areas, with getting population right, and you know a lot of areas where we've had gaps in the past. 